Toronto condos for sale, Toronto condo assignments for sale, Etobicoke condos for sale, Toronto penthouses, Brantford condos, Etobicoke condos, let's go. Hello everyone, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Realtor with Search Realty. Today I'm going to bring you a review of some of the condos, assignments and penthouses we have for sale in Toronto, in Etobicoke and in Brantford. There are lots and lots of projects available. Um, I like to pick the ones I like, the ones who are unique, the ones I think are great investment value and great properties. And today we have a wide range from the 400s to the millions to actually to over 7 million. So you ready? It's going to be wild. I'm just going to review a bunch of stuff for you. Just sit back, have fun and put all your comments down. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't matter. As long as you comment, you're good. All right. Uh, Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor and Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. That's where you find all the updates. Uh, we've been putting a lot of updates now with this flyer format of various condo assignments, Toronto condo assignments for sale we have. This is an assignment at 330 Richmond Street West, which is the corner of uh, uh, Richmond there. 565, very nice. One bedroom, one bath with balcony. It's an assignment on 11 floor, 635 square feet. With the balcony, you can see the floor plan right here. It's a very nice unit. The price is good, 565, only 889 per square foot. That building is almost ready. It's got a rooftop pool, which I really like. You know that you'll see that Fashion House, both Thompson's, uh, 224 King Street, and so on. Buildings with rooftop pools tend to do really, really well on the resale, and especially on the rental. Because all the young people, they got the job in a tech at Queen Espadina, which is right where you are here. They want to live there. Okay, so that's 330 Richmond Street West. Uh, we're going to move on. I'm just going to show you a bunch of stuff right away. Uh, 20 Lombard, Young and Rich. This is, a, this is a larger unit, 40 a floor, just under 1,600 square feet with a giant uh, a wraparound terrace. 20 lumbar, 2 plus 2, 3 bats, 1.8 million asking. 1154 foot. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, you want any more information, you have to contact me, okay? That's all I can do on video, especially because these are assignments. Uh, Nobu Condos, Nobu sold out. Uh, we have assignments available. Okay, this is a beautiful corner unit, two bed and study, two bath, got a balcony. Okay, this is about 800 square feet, but there are others. That's 1,500 a foot, which is kind of the going rate for Nobu. So if you're looking for uh, Nobu, anywhere from, you know, 500 square feet to 1,300 square feet, give me a shout. As you know, the smaller the unit, the higher dollar per foot, averagely speaking, and the larger the unit, the lower per foot. However, buildings like Nobu, or some of the penthouses I'm about to show you, it's not going to work this way because once you hit the penthouse level, okay, the price per foot jumps up. Why? Because it's the penthouse, top floor, best views, best finishes, higher ceiling, all that stuff. So penthouses will take 10 to 20 percent, say 15 average, 15 percent average, give or take, more than usual units. Okay, this is a very nice one at Nobu. Okay, moving on. Here's another Nobu offered at 1.35. Uh, that's 862 square feet, 2 plus 2, southeast exposure. If you want the exact, you know, I'm not going to give you the exact unit because it's an assignment, so just general overview. Then when you want, just you got to email me or call me, contact me, and I'll give you the exact uh, information in uh, person. Your email, phone, see you, whatever. It's good. Um, what do we got here? Uh, this one I brought, 55 Stewart, there's a penthouse here, that's the Thompson, the first Thompson, 1.3 million, which is really nice. So you can see the prices are, are actually, you can get a real good deal on a building that exists already. Now this also has a rooftop pool, and uh, you know, the, the first Thompson by Free Developments kind of started <clears throat> the trend of the outdoor pools on the rooftop. <clears throat> and if you're not following, a lot of people like, crying, oh, the pool asked for the condo fees. That's not true, actually, because if you look at the, the condos with pools, you know, they have uh, the, the, the um, whatever the pool adds is very small in comparison to the whole thing. So if you have a condo with 300, 400, 500 units, <clears throat> and the unit pays, say, even 5 or 10 bucks uh, to take care of the pool, okay, but what it does on the value level and on the rental level is a lot more, it adds a lot more, because... You know, Fashion House, Thompson, 224 King, across from Roy Thompson there. You know, all these buildings, they command high, high, high rents because everybody wants in this pool. And <coughs> once those Airbnbs are kicked out of these buildings, you don't need to be there. 
it's really, I mean, you can't really get that pool unless, you know, the Thompson, you have to pay for the room. But a fashion house, you can't do it. 224 King, you can't do it. None of these buildings that have pools, that have no hotels, you can't go in the pool unless you own it or rent it. Okay? No, actually, you should need to be a resident. You can't even own and rent it to someone else to go to the pool. So that's how it works, okay? Uh, I'll show you the Lombard. Young and rich, great investment. Right in the uh, downtown, right, basically you're right at Young and Richmond, you know, Bay Street, you're right there. So very, very good. Um, what do we got here? That's another Nobu, 1.2 million, 862 square feet. Some are higher floors, some are lower floors, 1391 a foot, which is really nice. Okay, I hope you like these new flyers we got. Um, other stuff I got, I got some, uh, I got some videos. Uh, we did some videos about the Hong Kong effect. It's still a big mess in uh, Hong Kong. We got some great comments on the videos on the YouTube. Uh, please keep them coming. It's really good. I also put an article summarizing the information about the Hong Kong. I'm just going to load it live here. So you go to yossikaplan.com. It's going to load the video. And below here, I put a bit of a, of a of, um, summary of the Hong Kong situation, how it's affecting the condo market in Toronto. And basically, you know, Hong Kong and, and Canada are, are linked, especially Vancouver, of course, Pacific, but also in Toronto, since Vancouver is so expensive. So a lot of people from Hong Kong, uh, some of them educated in Canada, a lot of them are Canadian citizens or residents. They're going to come here and start funneling the money out of Hong Kong, which is China, out of China, as much as they can. Now we got the trade war going. And we got, you know, the, the market uh, fluctuation going. So a lot of people, you know, if, I, if you are in Hong Kong, in Canada, or you are in Hong Kong, Canada right now, probably thinking, how can I come to Canada? Well, watch this video, call me, I'll explain to you. Okay, so that's, that's what this video is all about. Um, and it keeps going, okay? So let's go back into um, some of the listings here. I'm going to start with Brantford. So we have some uh, townhouses in Brantford. So in the 400s. Um, <clears throat> And we have some townhouse for sale by way of assignment at 33 Jarvis, right across on the Brantford Collegiate. Uh, great investment. These townhouses are two bed, two and a half bath. Some of them are larger. They start at 1,300 square feet up to almost 1,700 square feet. They have, uh, they have uh, back patios, balconies, rooftop combination of the above, parking, everything you need to live. And you're looking at less than $400 a foot, you know, $380 a foot, give or take. Very, very good. The next batch is going to be ready very soon, in October 7th, I believe. Uh, so give us a shout. If you're in Brantford, you want to invest in Brantford, you can rent it to a teacher in the school. You can rent it to a student in the school, um, family that lives there. That, that's, uh, you know, our, our audience. Uh, there are a couple of schools in Brantford, more than one. It's a, it's a young city. It's an oldest township, but it's a young city. Um, so there's a lot of renters there. You know, they're working at the school, serving the schools, working in the municipalities, so on and so forth. So that's very good. Okay, so that is 33 Jarvis. You go to BranfordBrokers.com, which is my site, and you get the information right there. BranfordBrokers.com, Yossi Kaplan. Okay, there you go. And you can get some more information uh, on other projects, so on. Next, I'm moving to a couple of resales that I have on the market. This is 701 King. It's a lovely unit. Uh, we had some uh, information about it before. This is the real pool. This is, this is uh, 701, 705, 725 King, plus the Wellington Townhomes. That is an amazing uh, place. You know, the condo fees here per foot are the same as any other building, but because there are so many units, they have so many amenities that doesn't actually break the bank. Uh, this unit has been completely refurbished, ripped out the kitchen, put a brand new custom kitchen in, high-end appliances, pot lights, all the work done by licensed plumber, and a licensed electrician for the lights. Lovely unit, very, very good value here. Um, it's about 1,100 square feet, and it's really like kind of a self-containing two units in the one. So it's very good for a family situation. If you want to live in the one side and rent the other, <clears throat> probably make 1,500 of half this unit a month, okay? So that's the listing. I have another listing here, which is also a very good value. That's a 36 Lisgo unit, 618. W, the West Tower of Lisgar, that's the unit. It's a beautiful unit. It's a, almost a perfect two-bedroom situation. There's no wasted space here. Uh, the unit's very good. 
It's in immaculate condition. This is our owner. The owner lives here. They kept the unit really, really nice. You know, it's never been smoked. Uh, the floor is good. The walls are good. The appliances are good. Uh, the dishwasher, they've never even used the microwave. So it's a very, very good value for $489. Uh, we are likely the cheapest or second cheapest unit in this building right now. <clears throat> um, there's three units at the moment in a sold conditional phase. Uh, once they will uh, go away, uh, I'm just going to let them, I'm going to let them uh, uh, just leave, leave the space by themselves. Uh, but what you're going to see happening here is our unit is going to be the cheapest or the second cheapest unit in the building. So, you know, people, uh, investors tend to buy the cheapest and then that's gone. Then the next one, that's gone. Then the next one. So our turn is next. That's how it works. And these units come up um, in the 500. So we are about $36,000 below the most expensive uh, for sale offered here. 489 okay so 11 plus 25 36,000 okay 36,900 37,000 below okay that's pretty good so that's why I'm confident about this listing I got some more information about Nobu here on urbanrealtytoronto.com this is in a Nobu launch it was an amazing launch um, that thing sold out right away couldn't even get enough units anyone who bought a unit here did really well um, people took the units whatever they could. These units are fantastic. This is going to be one of these only lifestyle residences in Toronto. You know, uh, Bisha, Shangri-La, Nobu, they're all in there. And each building that comes raises the bar in terms of engineering, in terms of lifestyle, in terms of living, in terms of value. So the Nobu is a brand because, because there's some famous people involved in it. Um, but it's also, it became a brand by itself, regardless of the people themselves, because the, at the end of the day, it's really the end result that you're looking for. So if they've done a good job, it's great. If they haven't done such a good job, you know, who cares, right? But it is doing good. It is doing well. So I, I, um, I urge you, if you're looking for high, high quality, uh, you can still get stuff here at the 1500 the foot, which is fantastic, right here across the street at uh, King West. Here we are, B.I.G. King West, more or less sold out. Perhaps the South Mountain, you know, has a few units left. And the penthouses are about to be released. Uh, you're looking at $1,500, maybe, probably $1,600 to $2,000 a foot for whatever is available. Uh, penthouses probably looking at about uh, $2,000 a foot. I'll get the prices soon. But you can see what they're doing here. They're building a lifestyle community, and that's what's important. It's integrated living, shopping, you know, working out. They got a manifesto. It's designed. It takes an entire block. You know, West Bank is a very serious developer, right? They built the Shangri-La. So you can see there's like a little uh, promenade. And then all these buildings here is going to have um, a shopping center built in. They're retaining the old uh, buildings on, que on uh, King. And, and they're adding all these beautiful mountain like but you know once you look inside the units they're actually really good because they're all designed well they all have balconies lots of greenery they're actually gonna plant plants according to the level you are mimicking nature uh there's like a, a passageway high-end shopping it's gonna be really really lovely it's gonna be something really unique um <clears throat> i think it's gonna in a way um, mimic Yorkville with its little enclave and shopping. Yorkville is so big now, you know, King West is the new Yorkville. I've been saying it for a long time and that's what it is. So, see for yourself. Okay. Uh, great units. Um, <clears throat> 1600 to 2000 a foot. That's the price here. Uh, moving to 88 Scott. 88 Scott is fantastic. Okay, so that's concert. There's the Bergsy properties. Okay. And all their stuff. Now, 88 Scott Penhouse Collection uh, is coming out. They're starting about four, four to seven million, give or take. That's the view you're looking at. Okay, so here's the L Tower, the Libeskin Tower, the uh, harbor here, the old commercial towers. And that's what you're looking at, the top, top, top. Uh, there's some really nice units there, some penthouses. That to me, if you can buy a penthouse in one of these buildings... You know, whether it's uh, <coughs> B.I.G. King West, whether it's 88 Scott, I'm going to show you a couple others. 
You're good. You're good because it's a long-term investment. Toronto is moving from, you know, buy the smallest stuff, 400 square feet that you can to buy something that retains the value. As we add more and more units and more and more value, we have more room for growth, also more money in the system. And now we can accommodate high, high, high-end units and high-end stuff. Okay, so 88 Scott for the penthouses is something that is worth your time, worth looking. Mind you, these are large units, there's expensive units, but that's what it is. If you need to park $5 million, yes, you can buy a big fancy home, but you can also do the downtown penthouse. Now, you know, New York City, I think, uh, had uh, one penthouse sale recently for about $280 million US, about $400 million Canadian. So that's 100 penthouses at 88 Scott. Okay, so let's put it in perspective. Oh my God, 4 million Canadian, about 3 million US. Okay, that's all for almost 300 million US. So for the price of 100 penthouses here, you get one in New York City. So is Toronto a good investment? Absolutely. Is Toronto stable? Yes. Is Canada is the best place to live in the world? This summer has been phenomenal. You know, let's appreciate everything we have. I'm so positive, thankful, and grateful to be here. Uh, there's, a, there's an opportunity for anyone that wants to succeed, anyone that, ha that wants to have a good life. You can do it right here in this city, okay? There's something for everyone. Um, I'm going to jump around. This is 57 Brock, just straight up price list. So these are uh, brand new condos where the beer store was on Brock. I used to live around that area. Parkdale was like, oh my God, Parkdale, but now look at Parkdale, okay? So you can still get $1,000 a foot or even less here. So 771 square feet, 754, <clears throat> okay, so that's just under 1,000, 872, just under 1,000. So basically these numbers are around 1,000 square, square foot, okay? And we have some uh, new final floor plan. So these, in my opinion, you know, if you can get 500 square feet for 500,000, that's good. You need to look at this thing if you only have 500,000 to invest because there's almost nothing available. All the stuff I get starts at the 600s, even more, even more. Uh, this is 8 Cumberland, so this is Yorkville. Look at this, okay? So, yes, fancy, yes, Yorkville, but don't forget, Yorkville is also very busy. Lots of towers coming in. It's going to be just really busy. Parking space, 95000 to 130000 um, I hope they have Tesla charging because they, they should everywhere. Um, here, just for example, so the closest to uh, 500 square feet here is uh, 800000 Okay, so that's Yorkville prices. Um, and that's starting from fifth floor. Uh, let's look at a high floor. So here is uh, a penthouse. Uh, actually, not it's probably a penthouse, but I'm not sure. Uh, and that's 3.4 million for 1,800 square feet, so just under 2,000 a foot. Okay, here is a 51st, another unit, slightly than 2,000 a foot. Uh, here is a unit for you know 1,000, 1,600 a foot, another 1,600 a foot. So you can see discrepancies. You can buy a thousand dollar a foot. You can buy 2000 a foot. That is Toronto. Get your head around this. If you have the kind of money to invest, uh, say, a million pound two, you can go for downtown financial center and get yourself a nice high floor, uh, Nobu, 1,000 square feet, maybe 800 square feet, 900 square feet, or you can go in here and get for 1.2, 700 square feet, or so a little more than Nobu. Um, <clears throat> or you can go to 57 Brock and what can I get here for 1.2 I can get uh, 1100 square feet okay so I can get 1100 square feet here so I can get 300 square feet more um, because the price here is just over a thousand per foot but the other one is almost double Okay, you see what I'm saying? So for 1.2 here, I get 700 square feet. So almost double the price. Uh, here's uh, 11 Yorkville, another Yorkville building. I'm showing you a bit of uh, what's going on here. 
and you can see here that's just their um, the brochure but basically what you gotta understand is you know these are gonna cost more than others but the expectation is we're gonna sell it for more too the rents will be higher the area is higher and Toronto is starting to really position itself you know Yorkville always was top price staying that way next used to be excuse me <coughs> oh my god no editing no cutting um, financial district might have been like second in command but now it's turning towards uh, the Nobu area so it's edge of uh, more entertainment district okay at the edge but still around uh, the core 88 Scott you know nice penthouses expensive prices here is Yorkville there's a uh, 50 scholar 50 scholar um, okay so also Yorkville check it out here okay so here's our address I'm gonna hit this one more time to get the little red marker okay so here we are Yorkville is becoming very very busy but if you but Yorkville is small that's a uh, blur right here okay and there's Davenport and then above so it's really a small enclave so four seasons six ten a night six seventy five a night now well that's what it is you know if you wanna if you wanna be in that area that's what you're paying which is totally fine um, I wonder how this one gave me the price but the other didn't but it is what it is and what you can see here is that the density of the expensive towers is coming together okay that means you're gonna be an enclave here of very very expensive residences the same you're gonna see um, of the uber expensive residences around the noble area so noble Bisha right Bisha also has a rooftop uh, uh, pool okay so this is the mindset the mindset is if you have the money and you like the lifestyle that's where you're gonna go okay now if you have less money you're gonna go 57 Brock you're gonna buy resale because it's cheaper now or maybe you're gonna buy um, outside of Toronto so you know you can buy yourself an investment in Brantford for half a million buck you can get three bedrooms 1600 square feet but for half a million buck you're not gonna get anything in your field nothing okay six it keeps changing but that's 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 what it is that's what it is that's that's how it is prices here I'm just wondering oh 257 intercontinental all the place okay what else I got for you uh, okay so this is Etobicoke this is 36 Zora this building is coming up it looks fantastic uh, this is very nice uh, Ellie's Dawn you know giant giant company so if you're looking for more sane uh, prices if you priced out um, call me and ask me what's in Etobicoke what's in Brantford what's in Hamilton I've made a lot of videos and there's every video that I um, that I do I mention these areas why because you know it's not only you that's gonna start investing outside of Toronto a lot of people are priced out even in the rental because in order for me to maintain uh, even expenses of 2400 a month you know I need to bring 2400 a month and of course I gotta pay as a landlord I'm speaking as an investor I got mortgage I got condo fees and I got taxes to pay the tenant doesn't really pay for them that's all in the rent right so the tenant pays for the mortgage the condo fees the taxes through the rent but the landlord wants at least to break even on that rent okay so I need to charge at least as what my expenses are and if my expenses are high because I'm buying a high dollar per foot I need to raise my rent so that's what's happening so the renters that cannot afford Yorkville you know and they're not making the crazy money to afford Yorkville they're gonna have to move out of Toronto to cheaper areas um, but they're not necessarily bad they're wonderful so Toronto is pushing development for the entire region okay the entire region I've been saying a long time it's starting in in uh, Oshawa all the way to Hamilton that's that's a GTA now um, I saw somewhere a map it said that the new core and that's exactly what I mean the new core is this entire um, stock you know entire hundred kilometers around Lake Ontario so <clears throat> you can invest in other places I usually focus west of Toronto but there's a lot of stuff east of as well um, but you know can cover everything uh, 36 Zora looks fantastic you want information and VIP on this 
I highly recommend you contact me about this one, okay? Um, here is, I'm just jumping around, so this is the one blower, Penos. Just going to kill the uh, sound on it. And one blower penthouse, now these do exist already, they're finished, you can come see them, you know. And again, the price range is in a few millions, you know, three to seven is what you're going to get something here. Um, if you need a place to park your money, that's a good option to do it. If you need a place to uh, bring your family in luxury and style, and that's what you're used to, that's where you're going to do it, okay. If you want to be right on the subway, that's what you're going to be. If you are managing, look how high up you are. If you are managing um, a company, you know, a $100 million company in the area, that's what you're going to be. So that's what I'm talking about, okay? Something for everyone. Uh, Pena is one blue, so 3.379 up to just under $10 million, okay? So that's what you're looking at. Uh, 1,900 square feet, 3.3. 4,200 square feet, 7.2, 57 is just uh, under 10 million, and 3,100 square feet under five. So just under two thousand dollars a foot in Yorkville for a penthouse. You know, if you compare that to U.S. dollars, so it's about 1,500, 1,400 a foot. Not bad. You know, don't forget a lot of people come in here with U.S. dollars; they get a big discount. Uh, there's a brochure. To show you what I'm looking at, look how high up you are. Also, you up you up on the hill, so you're looking at CN Tower almost straight up. Because CN Tower is down the hill, obviously, from you. Okay, so address in the sky. So here's the penthouse, and that's where you are. That's serious stuff. Okay, so you can see here. All right. Okay, uh, moving to Oakville now. Etobicoke, Oakville is where things are happening. Um, this location here, just to show you where you are, so here's Toronto, here's Etobicoke, here's Mississauga, here's Oakville. So Oakville is one of the richest suburbs, one of the richest townships in the area, maybe the richest. A lot of my friends I went, I went to school with, the MBA, they live in Oakville, and then they commute to Toronto because they're executives in all these uh, big fancy companies, okay? So <clears throat> if you're not in Toronto, you're going to move west, Mississauga is expensive, Oakville is very expensive. And then you got Milton, uh, for years, was like highest, fastest appreciating. Uh, and then you're looking at Hamilton, which we spoke a lot about. And then outside of Hamilton, you got uh, Brantford. Then you got Guelph Kitchen and Waterloo, okay? That's how, it, that's how it's happening. That's where you need to focus. So the new core is all the way here, really. Uh, as I, I see it from Clarington. Oshawa, Ajax, of course, Markham, Richmond Hill, basically all the way to the, to the 407, maybe even to 400, 400, 407, 400, 407, right there, and down around here, Hamilton, okay? Uh, I would include Brantford in, although it's slightly off, it's still, I think, amazing uh, value, and I have a lot of friends now looking at Niagara Falls and St. Catharines, okay? A lot of, a lot of people looking at there, uh, lots of deals still. The one we had at Niagara Falls sold out, that one with the Airbnb deal. We're going to have some coming up. A lot of people have been calling. Somebody called us to buy the entire development. It happens. Okay. Uh, District. So District, that's a new uh, name company. And they're doing a bunch of stuff in Oakville. This is a beautiful, beautiful uh, project. This is called District Trailside Oakville. District Trailside Oakville. If you want information about this property... Look at this. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Oakville deserves fancy because it doesn't have any. If you want Oakville right now, you've got to buy a house. You know, there's not a lot of fancy condos in Oakville. Um, but they will be more and more. And here they are. And everything's fair game these days, okay? So if you can get in the game, get in the game. All right. UrbanRealtyToronto.com. Yossi Kaplan. This is my main website. Um, I'm showing you here. This is a very, very important article. Toronto 3 Best Investor Condo Project. This one here, this video here, okay, it reviews uh, three master plan communities. Three master plan communities. Um, let me show you here. Okay. Loading. 
Okay, and we're talking here about uh, Tridel, the well, Galleria Mall, and the project at DVP, the Aspen Ridge project. Okay, so that's what I want you to focus on. You can go into a large project right here, tells you right there, the well by Tridel, Galleria Mall by Frida and Elad, and Crosstown Condos by Aspen Ridge. I have VIPs for all of these, so you can ask me about those too. Now here you can start buying a 900 foot, okay, up to whatever. Tridel, the well, right over there, our front Spadina is where Shopify, who you see in the news every day, uh, is going in the news, and they're, they're going to have engineers there. I, I did a video called uh, Buy and Rent to Shopify. Um, they're making a lot of money, the Shopify guys, and I proved it to you because I showed you the glass door salaries. Um, it's somewhere here. Let's see if I can show you. And what happens here is when you buy the master plan community, it's, it's easy. It's an easy starting here. How to make money, how to make real estate money off Google and Shopify. And everybody tells you to buy in areas where the software engineers come. They're young people, they're all renters, they're millennials, and they're making 120000 a year to 180000 a year. They can easily afford the Tridel condo next door. They work 16-hour days. They work 80-hour week. That's how it is. If you come to Toronto, you gotta, you got you to gotta hustle. And if you're not hustling, go somewhere else. But here... It's, it's an expensive city now. You gotta hustle. You gotta focus. You gotta be positive, and you gotta get the job done. Okay, so that's what we're here to do. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna wrap it up. Yossi Kaplan Real Estate, uh, YouTube.com/slash Yossi Kaplan. Lots of information. Twitter.com/slash Yossi Kaplan. <coughs> You'll see we're posting all these flyers now. Okay, <clears throat> so we got lots of assignments downtown. Um, if you can't afford downtown, do it. You can still get stuff. 330 Richmond at Spadina for less than a thousand a foot. To me, that's a no-brainer. Okay? You remember we were doing some deals at 608 Richmond um, over there. And you know the first unit went for about 500 and it took a 500 square feet unit. I was in it. And then the second unit went for like five and a quarter, and the third one was like for 560, all in the span of two weeks. Why? Because, you know, when you run out of units, you run out of units. There's nothing you can do about it, okay? Um, YossiKaplan.com, I put more of a, a market updates here and some good deals on YossiKaplan.com. You can visit that one, okay? Is it still a good time to buy a condo? And, oh, my God, you know, you will see prices in Toronto go up by 10 to 20% in 2019. I said it very early in the year. I think I, think I put it at 15, and it's just going to happen. It's just going to happen. Okay, uh, Brantford, you want 400 bucks a foot, you want to spend half a million and get yourself three bedrooms, 1,600 square feet, there you go. I got this option for you. We got some assignments, townhome condo assignments for sale here. 701, <clears throat> best value overall, two bedroom, two bathroom, complete unit, full renovated, just in the low eights. Even cheaper at Lisgar, 489 for this beautiful two bedroom. Okay, we're going to be uh, second cheapest once uh, this cup of soil conditional will be uh, off. You see the owner here. Okay, that's my, that's my listing. Nobu. Get yourself an assignment. I got a whole bunch of them uh, for sale. I, will have, I have uh, people looking to buy. So if you're looking to sell Nobu assignment, give me a shout. If you're an agent too. Okay. King West launching the penthouses, and then we got into explaining of the penthouses. So you can expect 1,800 to 2,000 a foot for the penthouse. They're going to launch right after Labor Day, uh, right first week of September. Uh, competing with the penthouses is 88 Scott, which is right smack down Financial Center. Uh, 1,000 buck a foot in Brock. 1500 to $2,000 a foot for uh, 8 Cumberland, Yorkville, 11 Yorkville, just as much, 50 Scholard, just as much, 36 Zor in Etobicoke, beautiful, uh, come get a deal here, one blue penthouse, you saw that, that will cost you, uh, the penthouse is here starting at 3.37990, okay, so 3.5 million give or take, uh, up to 10 million. Some brochure for the one-door penthouses. 
407, that's what's going to be the district. 407, then that's west. This is going to be a nice, nice building, okay? This one in Zora, nice. Okay, Yossi Kaplan Real Estate right here. Video right here. That's it. Go follow me. See ya.